Hello, this is Will at Downs Law, and I wanted to answer another uh, frequently asked question uh, that we get uh, from time to time, and that is uh, people will call us and ask, um, I have a contractor, I hired a contractor, and they didn't complete the job or, or they did work that was incomplete. You know, what do I do in that situation? I think the first uh, thing to keep in mind is, um, you know, you as a homeowner, uh, assuming you're not a contractor or not an expert in that field. Um, so how do you know whether the contractor didn't complete all the work or perform the work uh, in a shoddy manner? Well, the standard that a contractor needs to uh, abide by is, is what, would a, a con, what would another contractor do under similar conditions and similar circumstances? Uh, so the standard isn't what you, the homeowner, feel should be done, uh, but what would another contractor, uh, given the same type of job, the same type of build, have done? So you're gonna need to get an independent uh, evaluation from another contractor or another professional in that field. If that person also determines that the contractor either didn't complete the work or, or did, it, uh, did it in a poor manner, uh, then what is your recourse? Well, it kind of depends on whether you've paid the contractor the full amount for the project yet or whether you still have monies that have not been paid on the job. If you've paid the contractor in full already, um, then what you're going to need to do is, is put the contractor on notice that there are defects. Um, so what this typically would mean is, is, is preparing a, a list, an inventory of items, uh, sending it to the contractor, uh, preferably a certified mail, or in some formal manner to put them on notice and give them an opportunity to either correct the work uh, or uh, reimburse you for, or for work they didn't complete. Assuming you've done that and you, and you still can't come to terms, um, then what I would suggest is look at your contract if you have a written contract and there's often a dispute provision in the contract as to what to do in the event of a dispute. Typically in a construction setting, it will provide for uh, arbitration in the event of a dispute. And we've addressed arbitration um, on other videos and in other blog posts. Um, and so you can refer to those for, for that. But basically arbitration is, is not a court proceeding, but it, it is like a court proceeding. Um, so you would need to take the contractor to arbitration to resolve that dispute. Um, if you've not paid the contractor the full amount for the project yet, and there uh, is money still withheld, um, then, and you're not able to get anywhere, then you can use that money uh, to pay the other contractor to complete the work uh, if you just can't get anywhere with the contractor. Um, now note, however, if the contractor still disputes um, whether they did the work or not, uh, they may still uh, come after you for the unpaid amounts due under the contract. Uh, so if you do end up withholding monies and, and not paying the contractor and they're claiming that they are due those monies, then they may also uh, take you to arbitration or file a lien on your house to collect those monies. Uh, but if you've evaluated the concerns and you feel comfortable that uh, the contractor negligently performed the work, um, then you would be authorized to use those monies to complete the repairs in a proper manner. Uh, obviously, any construction uh, case is very fact specific. Uh, so for more uh, detailed inquiry or, or, or to talk to us further about your specific project, uh, please feel free to contact us at downslawllc.com. That's 404-842-6500. Thanks.